Good morning, friends. It's good to hear from everybody and see you guys today. I am so happy it's Friday. Matthew chapter 7, verse 15 to 20. Wanted to share. It says, Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravenous wolves. You will know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? Even so, every good tree bears good fruit, but a bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a bad tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Therefore, by their fruits, you will know them. It's a fitting scripture this morning because sometimes someone can seem genuine and want to help you, but then the conversation turns around and all of a sudden they're popping off now I've recently found a youtuber and she is a wonderful young lady her name is Rebecca Pearl if you haven't seen any of her videos, um, you should watch them. They're really good. Um, I saw one that she posted yesterday, I believe. And it was really exactly what I needed to hear. Because a lot of Jehovah's Witnesses, when they refute my videos they go immediately into attack mode and it can be difficult for me to either not respond or to respond with love and sometimes I I do fall into their little trap you know I can't say that I am perfect in that regard but I do try you know my very best to love them because that's what Jesus command was for me to love others um, but she posted about how I'll try and put the link in the description how witnesses tend to have so many feelings and frustrations bottled up inside and they have really no outlet for them and they tend to pop off or blow up on someone at the smallest things and one thing that they tend to do is they are not able to respect that someone else believes something different than they do and I've done videos on this before I used to be the exact same way I used to be so judgmental and think of this other person as ignorant and simply stupid but are they really the one true religion as we read in Matthew we can tell by their fruits that they bring a bad tree cannot produce good fruit so the article or video that I shared about treating a rapist respectfully um, I had a couple of J-dubs that wanted to poke fun and criticize not only the article but me personally and it just goes to show that the fruit that they're bearing and growing in their heart is sour and tart and bitter Matthew says a bad tree cannot produce good fruit and I want the fruitages of the Spirit in my heart I want to be filled with the Holy Spirit 
not by works am I saved, but by my faith. And how is it that faith without works is dead? Well, when you are filled with the Holy Spirit, it automatically starts to produce good fruit naturally. I'm not working for my salvation. I'm working out my salvation. It's on the inside and it's working its way out. And that is how we are a light to others. Um, there is one YouTube subscriber, well, YouTuber, I should say, that I have heard from other of my YouTube friends that posts ridiculing um, videos and is very insensitive to certain situations. And I just think it's funny how he will choose to pick topics that spark outrage like rape um, and ridicule just to get a reaction from someone. But on the heavier topics, the ones that matter, like Jesus Christ and who he is and that he died for us, um, it seems like he stays quiet. And um, I love them very much. And it is hard to love them when you're being personally attacked and accused of doing things or believing things that you don't believe. And they accuse me of twisting things around. However, I feel like it's, what, what is the saying, the pot calling the kettle black? The insults and the uh, ridicule and poking fun and disrespecting my comment section, if I ask you not to post a link to a certain subscriber's YouTube channel, a normal person would respect that and say, sure, no problem. But instead, I get ridiculed and made fun of and laughed at, and that's okay. But you, they have to understand that the fruit that they are bearing is evidence of what they believe in. And they were obviously Jehovah's Witnesses, and the fact that they were able to do that says a lot about them their fruit is bitter and sour and it's a shame and even though they could call me demonized in reality they're showing themselves by their comments who is really demonized here by this bitter fruit that they bear and they have no problem uh, with their conscience in the comments that they leave and they don't stop, you know. Um, they poke fun and they ridicule and they attack you personally. Um, however, my purpose here to share is not to show my pretty face on YouTube. In fact, most of my videos, I look an absolute mess because that's not important to me. My, my main goal is to help others that are struggling with maybe the same things that I have gone through as an ex-Jehovah's Witness that was born into the religion. I cannot testify to what others have said. I can only testify what I have seen and felt and what God has shown me personally. And that's what I will stick to. Of course, there will always be trolls out there. I, I understand that. But Jesus said, by your fruits, you will be able to see and recognize who really has Jesus Christ in their lives and who doesn't. Those 
trees that bear worthless fruit or bitter fruit, what does it say? It says they'll be cut down and thrown into the fire. So I love you guys. I'm praying for y'all. I hope y'all have a wonderful Friday and an excellent weekend. Take care, God bless, and peace be with you.